This is Justin Justin and Mr. Brixton right here video, and this is episode 22 for No Man's Sky. Um, yes, this is a uh, spaceship that we got, I believe, in the last episode. It's pretty cool. Lately, we've been going to um, the Atlas interfaces. Yeah, that's what we've mostly been doing. And that's kind of my quest. There, I know there are 11 Atlas interfaces. I don't know what number we are on now. The thing is... Okay. So we're here. We gotta go all the way over here. Let's refill the hyperdrive. Um... We should have some... I thought we had more warp cells. I guess we don't. I guess we're all out of warp cells. But I thought we had more. Huh. Well, we need... We, we need... We have t uh, an antimatter. And I don't know. Okay. So it looks like we're uh, going to need oxygen. Like a lot of oxygen. So we're going to have to make a couple warp cells. We go to this next Atlas interface. Yeah. But this is a, honestly a cool starship. I mean, yeah. It looks really amazing. We could try to go to this Atlas interface. I know I've already been here. But I just want to see if, you know, there's something that I missed, maybe. Yeah. Is there something I missed? I have no idea. I don't think, yeah, no, this one didn't give me any uh, warp cells, I remember. Yeah, no, I've already collected all these, so. Yeah, but they, it didn't give me a single warp cell. Yeah, and you see I've already been here, so. You know, I haven't, I mean, that means I have to make a whole, like, probably like three or four more warp cells before I can even travel, which is a problem. Yeah. I have 15 million units. I have enough uh, units to get a freighter so I can have more starships and it is done during where I'm where I'm at right now so yeah I mean is there any place that's, like, have we visited somewhere that's close to here? No. 
we actually have not even been over here. So... Okay, so what that means... So, antimatter house Or, antimatter... Uh, okay, hold up. Yeah, no. Oh, we, we don't have... Okay, um... What I need to do is... I need to get rid of... Something. I don't know. Okay, but... Antimatter takes condensed carbon and chromatic metal. So we need copper as well. Then antimatter housing. We need oxygen and ferrite dust. We have 54 ferrite dust, so we need... Okay, so we need... it. Well, it takes one antimatter housing and one antimatter to make a warp cell. I need at least four, possibly. I'll see how much four can be used and how far... Okay, so we need... A lot of chromatic metal. We need a lot of condensed carbon. We need a lot of oxygen and a lot of ferrite dust. So, we need a planet with copper, which this planet over here should work. Yeah. So we need to get, I don't really care about the 173,000 units, I mean, I, wow, whoa, that, this is crazy. Oh, it's like a, it's like a toxic planet. Radiation. Oh, it's having uh, radiation right now. Okay, the storm is clearing. Good. Okay, storm has cleared. Now I'm hoping that's copper. Nope, that's silver. That's copper over there though. Could definitely take the copper from there. Oh yeah, also we need uh ferrite dust, so Okay, might as well try to get, you know, <clears throat> a lot of ferrite dust. So we're gonna need it. So. I don't think that gives us uh, ferrite dust. Yeah. I think we're good on the ferrite dust now. So... We need condensed carbon... Oxygen... I don't even know if any of these give us... I mean, that gives us carbon. Wait, we can make... We can actually make condensed carbon as well. Yeah, that's right. We can actually make condensed carbon. If we get enough carbon, we can make condensed carbon. It's one of those things I forgot. I could have just been gathering carbon for the longest time.
Yeah. Okay, now we kind of have to pretty much. Oh wow, this is radiated. The this entire planet is just radiation, dude. Wow. The entire planet is radiated, dude. The, to the point where the water is radiated. That's insane. Now that's crazy. To the point where the water, like you can't even swim in the water. That's how bad it is. Okay, it is right here. Okay, now what I gotta do is go do the portable refiner. Just use some of that condensed carbon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the copper. It's not that much copper. Um, of course, incoming storm. Okay, 36. Now, what I'm going to do is put the carbon in here. I'll probably stop at like 100 condensed carbon. Yeah. Oh, 98. Exactly 100. Wow. Radiation protection. Oh. Um. Let's go. Let's stay in the spaceship. Okay. So. I don't have the oxygen. I don't even. I can't make. I don't think I can make oxygen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's oxygen. There has to be oxygen somewhere, right? For the... We need condensed carbon and chromatic metal. We only have 58, so we can only make two more antimatters. Uh, so we only need one more, which we need more condensed carbon. I mean, not condensed carbon. Chromatic metal. And then we need to make... Four of these antimatters, so we need over 120 oxygen, and then we have the ferrite dust. Yeah, we we have the ferrite dust. We just need 120 oxygen. So let's maybe get off of this planet, because I doubt there's going to be oxygen on a radiated planet, like 100% radiated planet. Is that a freighter? That is a freighter. Or is it a cargo ship? It might just be a cargo ship. Okay. Yeah, it's a merchant freighter. Maybe, just maybe, I could buy it. Just maybe, 
ีFreighter right here I could go buy. We'll see how much it costs. Because then we could actually buy more than one ship. So that would actually be really useful. Really, this would be really useful. Because um, now I can actually buy other ships. Yeah, um... Where's the captain? Is the captain right here? Add the admiral. Offer to buy the freighter. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's a C class. Two million. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Now, if we get a, a, a warp drive for the freighter, we can actually teleport anywhere. I mean, really. Anywhere. But we need hyperdrive fuel. Yeah, we need hyperdrive fuel. So that means we only need one antimatter housing. Okay, so we need to go grab. Uh, we need to go find oxygen. Where's my starship? Here it is. Yeah, so now we have, we're able to have nine ships in here. We can have, I think we can have more than nine, but the freighter can only hold nine. So, gamma. Now, this is the one that we just came off of. Let's find another planet. No, that's not going to have any oxygen. Right? Because that's more of like a... Yeah, no. I don't think that's going to have... I mean, we could try this one. Let's find it over here. I, I highly doubt it. But we could still try. Yeah, hopefully we can get to that Atlas interface before uh, this video ends. I think we will. Honestly, yeah. Okay, man. This planet is far away we're still like nine seconds out dude I know recently all we've been doing in the series is just going to the atlas interfaces but if we want to continue the story we have to go to each and every atlas interface which I believe there is. I checked it a couple episodes ago it said there was 11 so I don't know what number I am. Go through the episodes that I've done the Atlas interfaces and see. Oh no, this is like a hot planet. Oh, it's not even a. It's mostly just water too. There's not going to be anything here. Yeah, no. I mean, there's nothing on these islands too. Nothing on these islands. No trees, no nothing. So I pretty much just came here for no reason. Yeah. Let's 
see. Let's scan that one. It's a reeky planet. I've never... I don't even know it. No, I don't want to go to the Atlas interface. I don't know why it's locking itself on... Okay, whatever. We can just keep going and... Yeah, I guess so. We need to refuel this too. Okay, we're still pretty far out from this planet. So, yeah. Please tell me this isn't... Okay, I was about to say, if this was another water planet, I would have been super mad. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. Please tell me there's oxygen. I mean, there's a lot of dead trees, so maybe not. Um... Yeah, there's not even, you know, these trees give me carbon, and that's it. No oxygen anywhere, dude. We might not even get to this Atlas interface. Yeah, I, I can't find any oxygen, dude. It's not even funny. Because all of this is just carbon, right? Carbon. We're going to have to go to a new solar system. Yeah, we're going to have to go to an, a brand new solar system. Something that's going to have oxygen. So we can go to the space station. teleport to another solar system because I mean that's what we need to do we need to find a new solar system to help us out okay um Let's lock in for the space station. I mean, anyways, if we don't get to the Atlas interface, we still got something new. A freighter. Only cost two million. So it's not that bad, actually. Yeah, I mean. Plus, we make about 12 million. Uh, just from getting our gold from our gold mine we can actually make even more if I add more of the uh, mining drills so yeah you see the freighter can pretty much jump anywhere I believe I'm most positive I mean, even if we go to another solar system, I 
I mean, I hope there's an oxygen planet. We only need... We only need, like, a little bit of oxygen. That's it. That's all we need. Okay, let's see. Can, wait, can I just, can I buy oxygen? Is that even a possibility? Can I? Yes, I can, let's go. I will spend that much, I do not care. Oh my God, thank goodness, dude. I was like, kinda, kinda scared for a second. I really thought we weren't going to be able to, you know, afford, not afford, but not get, um, not get a thing, like, not get any more oxygen. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I seen a good ship over there. Hold up. I might go buy it. Yeah, hold up. I seen a good ship, and it looked pretty cool. There's two of them here. There's three of them now. That's insane. I've, I've, oh, excuse me. I've never seen three of the same ships. I might actually get this blue one, though. Yeah, I actually might get this blue one. How much? How much do you want? It's an A-class. It looks stupid, but it's it looks amazing. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I have uh, no money for that. Okay, never mind, I guess. I'm guessing they're all going to be the same. Let's check this one. How much do you want for this one? Yeah, it's an eight. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't have the money, dude. I'm sorry, but I don't have the money. I mean, I actually would if I go back to my gold mine, but... Um, what I really want to do is I want to go to the Atlas interface before I end this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon my freighter. Let's just go out here. Okay. Now let's summon my freighter in. We're going to go to the freighter. Put the hyper hyperdrive in. Or the warp cell in the hyperdrive. And then go to that... Um, Atlas interface and pretty much do that and then we can end the video. Yeah, so go to my freighter, hyperdrive, get the warp cell. It's at 67%. Hopefully that's enough to even go. Where am I even going? I have zero clue. Um, there we go. So now, hopefully I'll be able to finally see where it's at. Actually, I don't even know where it's at. Holy crap. I think, oh, it's up, it's up here. Wow, it's actually out of jump range. I w didn't think that was going to be possible with a freighter. Hold up. Is there a solar system that's close enough? Because I'm here. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to save it for the next episode, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to save it for the next episode. I mean, we got a, an amazing freighter, honestly. This is an amazing... Uh, 
You see, there are, uh, these aren't my ships. Uh, the NPCs will just randomly come in here and land their ships. There's three of the same ones here, dude. That's not, that's not cool. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. It would honestly really mean a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.